Okay, now we're going to try a, the one where you've got to use present value. It says at the end of the investment period, Patrick puts the entire amount of money into the bank and he kind of gives a loan to himself. He's going to withdraw a monthly, monthly pension from the fund. He's going to withdraw 30,000 rand a month. It's 10% per annum. And the question is, how many full months will he be able to receive 30,000? So what you do, you take your answer from the last question. So what it all came out to, you might have a little bit of a different answer there. And I'll take a look at it, make sure, or your teacher will too. Uh, we'll take a look at it and make sure that it all works out. You put that money you start off with right there. There's your 30,000 rand he's going to pay himself every month. And we're going to try and figure out how many uh, months he can get payments and just put in the interest. It's present value. So if you put in all the right things, you get some marks. Now, all you do, multiply this through by 0.1 over 12, divide by 3,000, and you'll get a fraction. And then if you go 1 minus that thing in your calculator, you'll get a number. It'll be 0.53486 and a few other things. Leave all that stuff in your calculator. Actually, is a good idea. Even the more um, digits you put in there, it's even better. Now, you don't, <coughs> all you have to do is use your log button now. Go the log to this base and put in that fraction there, and you'll get your answer. It's negative 75. That's with negative and equals. 0.4. Well, that's not a complete month, so he gets 75 complete months he'll be able to draw. And there's your answer. And then they say something else in the next question. They say after re withdrawing 30,000 Rand for 20 months, he, um, Patrick requires a million and a half. Is he going to have that much money left if he's taken out 20 months thing? So what you need to find is what's the balance on the money left in the bank on the loan to himself? That's what P is kind of. What's the balance going to be in there? Well, all you got to do, he starts off, he's got 75 in this little fraction here. Um, you just take away 20 from it and you put that in the formula. Uh, present value one. That's one way to do it. There's another way to do it too. You could use... Um, what the bank uh, wants in, in terms, you know, multiply the whole loan by the interest and then subtract the future value. That's just as good. But this is a, a quick one-step way. You just put negative 55.402312 in there, put the interest rate in, put the 30,000 in and see what the balance is. And whoop, it's, it's, he's got 1.3 million. It's dropped below the 1.5, so he's not going to have that one and a half million available. So there you go.